What's going on, Jerome's? Your Minnesota Fighting Vikings got it done in South Beach 24-16 over the Miami Dolphins, formerly 3-0 Miami Dolphins. Uh, Vikings sit atop the NFC North division, and there's some media availability after the game. Wanted to run through Kevin O'Connell, uh, Kirk Cousins talk, and uh, also our guy Chris Thomason. Doing the Lord's work out here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Thompson, Pioneer Press, go. Uh, Vikings coach Kevin McConnell said he's really proud to be 5-1. He said, I love this team. Well, that's uh, that's reassuring. I'm, I'm glad that he loves this team. Uh, Vikings coach Kevin McConnell said that Cook's long touchdown, uh, the 53-yarder, which broke the game open, uh, that's an attrition-type run. And, yeah, Dalvin had been quiet throughout most of the day. Uh, one, two, three, four-yard gains. And we've seen it throughout the season where Dalvin, it seems, just, he, seems like he's just been like an inch. Just like, yeah that close to uh, breaking some long touchdown runs. Uh, so glad to finally see him hit one, especially at home in front of friends and family. Uh, Thomason. Vikings coach Kevin McConnell said Patrick Jones was a man on the mission and had a look in his eye before the game. He came up big in his first two career sacks. Uh, O'Connell actually said that uh, he saw Patrick Jones, the elevator, just like he had the look. He's got the look. Vikings country. Elevator ride. Uh, Thomason, a Vikings coach, Kevin McConnell said, a uh, five and one and two game lead in the NFC North. We got a tough, resilient group. That's right. Four wins. Yes. Should have beat the Lions by more. Should have beat the Saints by more. Should have beat the Bears by more. Should have beat the Dolphins by more. But doesn't matter in the end. Like, still counts the same. And the Vikings are finding a way to win close games, even when they don't play 100%, which is pretty impressive as they look to uh, refine their own game and get to 100% or as close as possible. Uh, Thomason, Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins happy with win, but said we need to be better. That's what I just said. Uh, Viking, uh, Kirk Cousins said when the Vikings got off to a tough offensive start, the key was to keep chipping away because they started out with four three and outs. Then they had the 75-yard touchdown drive. Second half started out with three more three and outs. They punted 10 times total on Sunday, but they still did get it done. Uh, Cousins said this is the inverse of 2021 winning close games. Die, uh, uh, Vikings coach, uh, Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins said he likes having the animated conversations on sideline with Kevin Connell and likes being coached hard. So both of those, uh, I don't know, I don't know, man, I, I, I don't know, but he. he you did see Cousins being more animated on the sideline, especially after tough third down where maybe it was a bad call, maybe it was a bad uh, commun miscommunication. Uh, but you could see the Kirk just really getting after it, man. And, and it's interesting because angry Kirk is the better version of Kirk. We, we said that a bunch. And then Kevin C. for DSPN, who's not Carl Gerbschmidt. This was the situation in the Vikings postgame locker room. Left to right, Patrick Jones, Adarius Smith, Daniel Hunter. They combined for five sacks. BMFs. Uh, as Smith said in the video, I had to edit for reasons you'll see, but he's right. He's absolutely right. Also, throwing DJ Wanham, who missed the game due to an illness, and the Vikings have four uh, fantastic edge rushers who can get off. They can uh, you know, get there with four. They can uh, beat their man on one-on-one. -on -one. They can beat double teams. They can get after a man. Absolutely. Uh, Gessling. Uh, oh, Seifert tweeted out, Continuing our week six post game thread by knowing the Vikings won in Miami today uh, for the first time since December 11th, 1976. And guessing that was the last year they went to the Super Bowl. Just saying. Just saying. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. But Vikings head into the bye week. There is a lot to fix, there's a lot to work on. And you know who knows that? Every single coach in, uh, on this team, every single player in this building. So they're not satisfied. You know, just being 5-1 and one and, yes, near run things, and getting close wins uh, against the, the Lions and the Saints and the Bears and, and the Dolphins. Oh, my. Hey, come out week eight, put the bang thing on the Cardinals at home. Would love to see it. That's right, baby. But your thoughts are thoughts. Reactions to the Vikings postgame media availability after their 24-16 win over the Dolphins. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.